What's up? Today, I have been requested by uh, a few to show how I actually hook up to my dialysis. So right now, I have a manual bag that I need to ASMR that I need to um, drain here and then I'm going to fill this in to my body. So I thought I would just show you how it's done. So first of all I'm going to take the bag and put it on the hook and then I'm going to, I should have a camera person here so let's see if I can do this one-handed. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's sanitary, so it's all stuck together. I'm going to pull it apart. Okay, saving you all the shaky, shakiness. Here's my drain bag. Here's my fill bag. And I have it on this IV pole because you got to have some uh, gravity assistance. So I usually just hunker right in here. Put my pillow up, pull my blanket back, and I hop into bed. So this is the connection part. So for this, I'm going to take a mask. Put it over my face, like so. And I'm going to take these clamps. I'm going to sanitize. And I washed my hands before this, but I think I didn't really want to watch me wash my hands. So you rub this in until it's dry. Never wave your hands in the air to dry them because you're just collecting bacteria on them. So rub until they're dry. Next, I'm going to take my catheter. It's right there and it's attached into my abdomen. I don't even know if you can see, but it's not really attached in my abdomen as much as it's surgically shoved into my abdomen. But whatever. Next, I'm going to take this cap, pop it off, and then I'm going to remove the cap from my and I'm going to stand up so you can see this. I'm going to attach them just hand tight. And then I take one of my gauze and just clean off the anything. Um, next, I'm going to <laughs> stand up again and break the seal and then I'm going to take the clamp off of this one. Wow the guys this is hard. This is hard to do. This is hard. <laughs> Probably super close you can't even see this. And then I'm going to open my transfer set and then it kind of runs out like this. I can take this off again. So there's my clip that flew to the ground. Um this is it going, sorry, don't look at my gross scab. Um, and all my fluid is draining in, as you can see. So now that this is hooked up, I will sit here for about the next 15 minutes and let it drain out. Um, what is draining out is waste and fluid. So since my kidneys don't work zero percent over here um, I cannot my body cannot rid itself of the waste and fluid as your body would count yourself lucky um, so the more you drink the more you pee right yeah the less I drink the less fluid has to be pulled off <laughs> and that's the, and that's all she wrote about that um, 
but it also pulls out all the waste, like I said. So when this bag or bags go into my peritoneal cavity, the lining thins out and that allows waste product to come through and it sticks to these little sugar sticky molecules because the dialysis solution has a lot of sugar in it. In fact, it's like eating a candy bar every night. That's how much sugar. Um, and so <clears throat> then it drains out and my waste is all in a bag and then I just go drain it and it's just like pee. It's just like pee. It even looks like pee. Let's just call it what it is. It's pee. It just doesn't come from the bladder or the pee hole, so I just have a different pee hole. I will now hunker down, lay back on my pillow, turn on the TV, and watch a show. Primarily The Voice, American Idol, and or The Bachelor, should an episode be on. Um, and this takes about 10 to 15 minutes, just depending on how much fluid is coming out. And then I will report back on the next step. It's filling up. We're just about there. Once it gets um, full, my abdomen will start to cramp, and that's how I know I'm empty. Okay, so next I weigh my bag and 2,500 grams. So that means it output 500 grams of fluid because 2,000 went in, so an extra 500 came out. So now I go weigh myself. Well, I do this while attached because I still have to put some back in my body. And 72.8, awesome. They want me to get up to 73. So I call that a success. I've been staying kind of stagnant at 72.1 for about a week now. So 70. 70, what did it say? 72.8. You know what? I'm just thinking it probably counted the weight of this. So I better go weigh myself again. Yep. 72.1. That's, that's what I thought. Okay, now I'm going to take my blood pressure. Slide that on. Here we go. And it is 96 over 77 with a pulse of 127. 96 over 77, I have to log all of this in for my doctor to see, so that's why I'm writing it down. And they're not gonna be happy about that blood pressure. My blood pressure has been really low and I've been very symptomatic, like blacking out, getting dizzy when I stand up, and like shaky legs, all that, so they're kind of concerned. And they're trying to get my weight up, which is hard to like figure out your dry weight when you're in kidney failure. So I drop <laughs> my waist bag on the ground again. And then I'm going to now drain this back into me. Well, not back it, just in. I'm gonna try my hardest to show you guys this next part, but I'm really sorry if it doesn't like pan out. So I'm gonna clamp this, this bag off, and then I'm gonna break the seal, and then my transfer set is closed. So I'm gonna open the clamp on the top one. And then, let's see if I can push this back. I'm going to open the clamp on this. And this releases all the air bubbles into the waste bag. 
because if any of the air bubbles go into me, I will experience extreme pain in my shoulders. I've had it happen before and it's one of the most, or not most, but more uncomfortable experiences I've had. We always make sure to clamp that and then I am now going to open my, sorry, I'm trying to hide my gross, gross scalp. Let me do this, because nobody wants to see that. Nobody, just put that there. So I'm gonna open my transfer set and now all the fluid is going into my abdomen. From there. Okay, so all my medicine is drained into me, so I am now going to unhook myself. I'm going to open my cap. It's called a mini cap. And it looks like this. This is my old one. Before I'm dying. So I'm going to open that so it's ready to go. And then I'm going to sanitize my hands. Let's see if I can be quick. Can you be quick? You can't. You just have to wait till it dries. More friction. Okay. Still not dry. Okay, here we go. Dry, clean hands. So, whoops. I. <laughs> I've clamped both tubes off and then I'm going to close my transfer set and then <laughs> I'm gonna open and drop and then I'm gonna bend down here and get my cap put it on voila we are done the next step for me after this would be to go into the bathroom and drain my waste bag and I just put the tube in the sink and it drains out and then I come back and I collect the garbage and I put it in the garbage bag and that is how I do my manual dialysis during the day. Um, plus I usually have two kids. All in all, about a half hour of my time, I usually do it when Benna goes down for her nap and I put a show on for Cricket downstairs, and then I do my dialysis, finish, go hang out with Cricket, and then Venna wakes up. So there you have it. There is manual peritoneal dialysis.